What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial video. Uh, so today I'm going to be demonstrating how to install basic plugins for LSPDFR to make it more exciting, more realistic, enhance it. Uh, very simple process. So uh, before, I could, before I start the video, please don't forget to leave a like on the video if this helped and if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also, please share it with your friends. Anybody, let them know so we can build this community up. I just got back into being active and I plan to keep it that way. So, let's get into the tutorial. First things first, you're going to want to go to Google. You're going to want to go to LSPDFR. Click on the home page. You're going to want to go to Downloads. Essential mods and these basically have the plugins, the most important plugins that will really make the game better. There are lots of plugins that make the game more fun, but these make it a little bit more realistic. So I'm only going to do a couple, and um, after watching this video, you guys should. You guys will probably know how to download plugins yourself and then you can download any plugin you want just by going into scripts and plugins and then figuring out what you want so uh, the plugins that we're going to install today are LSPDFR plus assorted callouts and one I already have open which is arrest manager spotlight uh, it's not that important but I mean like if you want it you can have it I just made a tutorial video on emergency lighting system so if you need help with that please go check it out uh, we could do cop holster 2 that'll work and the LSPD LSPD for our computer plus is very useful it makes it a lot more fun but it never works for me so I'm just gonna leave that out okay so Oh, also EUP, which I'll make a tutorial video in itself for that one. Because I don't want this video to be too long. Alright. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Hold up, one second. Alright, there we go. So, uh, while I'm downloading these, I'm probably just, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, like, skip ahead to when it's all done. Basically, you guys, I'm sure you know what to do. Agree and download. Once it slows up, download the uh, most recent version version of the uh, well, any of these plugins, which would for this one be 7.10, and click download. Wait for that, and then you can go through the verification process, and then it'll download. Oh, here's another one that uh, we should do: traffic policer and police smart radio those would be pretty helpful all right so i'm going to download all these and then i'll be right back all right so we have everything installed uh the assorted callouts is a callout plugin meaning it will add more callouts to the game rather than just what lspdfr has right now so now for the easy part and it's basically the same for all of them. Go to my downloads so we can have everything. Alright. We're going to go to our GTA 5 directory. And the way to do that, even though I've showed it in lots of my videos, I will do it again. You're going to want to go to this PC, local disk, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, in common and then you go to your Grand Theft Auto directory <coughs> so we'll start with the first one arrest manager what arrest manager is is basically uh, it adds things you can do I'm pretty sure it's like um, you can call in for prisoner transport um, there's a different animation for it, all the other shit. You'll find out. One thing that I wanted to mention. If you ever see Rage Native UI and Albo 1125 Common 
and you already have it from installing LSPDFR, don't replace the files. I'll demonstrate. If I put it in here, oh, I guess I didn't have it. Okay. But if you got it from, uh, let's say, a like um, newer version of a plugin, and it asks you to replace these two, I recommend not replacing them because chances are it'll be an outdated version because a lot of these plugins haven't been updated in a while. Alright, on to the next one. It is basically the same for each plugin. You just drag and drop it into your GTA 5 directory. Okay, here we go. Here's one with the same two files as the uh, arrest manager. Just either you can drag and drop everything and it'll ask you if you want to replace the files and you can click skip the files or you can just highlight these two and then drag it in and it won't give you that problem. But like I said guys, this is a very, very quick and easy process. It's all dragging and dropping right into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. And it's like this for most plugins. Unless the plugin has like a dispatch file in it to uh, modify the um, the dispatch sounds or the thing dispatch says to you, all the bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Last one. I would demonstrate these plugins in a game, but my Grand Theft Auto is not currently working, and I don't know why. I have I am resolving the issue. Uh, chances are I might just uninstall and reinstall because it's really easy for me to install all these plugins and stuff. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, all right, and once you're done with that, you're gonna want to launch Rage Plugin Hook. If you haven't already click yes to unblock the files wait for it to load up okay. yep see this is what this is what's happening to me right now um, my GTA 5 is not working but uh, if you watch my LSPDFR video once you launch Rage Plugin Hook, there will be a little settings button uh, on like the lower left corner. And you will click on that, you go to plugins, and you will click either load all plugins or load these plugins on startup, and then you can select which ones you want to start. And that is basically it. Very simple, easy tutorial. I'm sure everybody will get this first try. It is so easy to figure out. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, like I said in the beginning, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I hope this helped everyone out. Uh, new tutorial video probably coming out maybe even today. It's not that late right now. It's only 140, so, or 146, whatever. Um, but we'll see. Most likely going to be continuing to upload a tutorial video every day until I can't make a tutorial video anymore because like there's nothing else to make a tutorial on involving Grand Theft Auto 5 so I'll, after that or even before that I'll probably start making a LSPD for series because I started one but my microphone was really shitty first of all and I just wasn't really good at talking <laughs> I guess and I really wasn't that experienced in modding anyway I will see you guys in the next video. Again, I hope this helped you out. And I hope everyone has a good day. And peace out. That's all right. Hush.